It is 644 on this Thursday morning and providing opportunities for people with autism on every side of the spectrum. That's the goal of a Carmel Food Company fully staffed by people with autism. And April is Autism Awareness Month. This is the first of a series of stories I'll be sharing with you of the work being done to give people on the spectrum the chance that we all deserve. You glove up vanilla with edible cookie dough. Inside Executive Chef Jacob Whitman's kitchen. You start with strawberry. Hannah, can you do me a favor? Employees are hard at work prepping the desserts and food for the day. All right, and those are gone in the case. The kitchen isn't just recognized for being gluten and dairy free. It's a lemon, no soy next. To All the employees have autism. See the person, not the disability. It's the very reason Shelly Henley founded the business. Her son Jacob was turning 18, aging out of services and transitioning to adulthood. Every parent wants their kid to live a happy and fulfilled life, and I didn't want anything less. She didn't want him to sit at home and collect disability. So when he said he wanted to be a chef, it was an easy decision. My baby wanted to be a chef. He was going to be a chef. What started as a small booth at the local farmer's market eight years ago has quickly taken off. What's hummingbird bread? It's a, a southern banana bread with um, bananas, cinnamon, coconut, and crushed pineapple. They want to provide dignity and purpose to people on all ends of the autistic spectrum. My son was constantly being evaluated and told, oh, well, he speaks in this percentile. Developmentally, is only this percentile, and da-da, da-da, da-da. Hence where the name No Label at the Table was born. The artwork on the sign created by Jacob, an old symbol they used for eating. Jacob's autism makes it hard for him to express his emotions verbally. So these do need vanilla. What's the best thing about being here, though? My boss. Yeah. For employees like Hannah, it's provided a stable income to pay for bills like rent, and hopefully she'll get to buy a cat soon. Bringing home the bacon. Henley hopes other businesses will take a page out of her recipe book and add the secret ingredient of employing people on the spectrum. Throw out all of your assumptions. Quit assuming that you're doing something nice or charitable. All you're doing is hiring another person who might need a few more accommodations, but those accommodations are going to benefit everybody in the workspace. What's the customer's favorite thing? They come in and they say, I gotta have Hannah's what? Pineapple upside down cakes. How do you make those ones? I'll see an upside down. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hannah had quite the humor. Humor. As for what is next for No Label at the Table, I'm not allowed to share that with you just yet. But I can say that they will soon be partnering with much larger companies that you would recognize sometime this year. We may wonder just how prevalent autism actually is. Well, the CDC's latest numbers show one in 36 eight-year-olds were identified with autism in 2020 and in Indiana autism numbers continue to rise. Golden Steps ABA says currently one and 44 kids are identified with autism in the state. That's an increase from years prior.